What's, What's up, up This is I'm Broken Hellboy. This is Sensei Soy, Cameron Jerry. You know what's up? That's LV Kid Meliotis, Kid Meliotis, Isaiah, you know all that shit. But this is What's the Drip, episode three. And don't forget to like, subscribe, all that shit. And you know Turn what? If you want to support on. our channel, Link Tree. Link Tree. Or Snippet. Our Link Trees. Are, link in bio. Yeah. Go subscribe to our stuff and all that. If you want to help for free and all that. You all know. right, now let's get back with the video. But I yeah. Pissed. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. This is episode three. We're doing a Watch the Drip interview. And all that shit, you know what the fuck's going on. But I'm back. There you go. Now you know what? Now you can start the next question. And then I need to take a piss now. God damn. I'm sorry. Go take a piss and you can repeat the question. No, just wait. Um. Very first girlfriend. I'll let you go first. And then I got a whole story for that shit. Where your first girlfriend? He's in your bathroom. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like actual or in general? Well, this is very first girlfriend, so when it's very like in general or uh, personally. A fourth grade elementary boyfriend girlfriend relationship. Nothing happened. This fucking. But then I met her back in high school. And she fucking hated me. Oof. Yeah. Uh, then middle school would be... Get your foot off the goddamn table before I beat your ass with a switch. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Put him in the coffin! <laughs> Put yourself in the coffin? First middle school girlfriend? It was this ginger girl? Yeah, I had to think for redheads, I guess. Then blonde. I can see that. <laughs> and white girls. Then prettily white girls. Then. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Me, uh, my very first girlfriend, um, I had in low key, I think, elementary school. So I went off with her, too. <clears throat> Um, okay. kindergarten, I guess I you knew. whore? No, look. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking whore? No, uh, legit, um, I guess I knew the girl I ended up dating in elementary school in kindergarten, and we had a fake wedding, and her mom had a picture. Mm. And I didn't, I don't remember this bitch or anything. And I'm like... Yo, I don't fucking believe you. I don't believe you. And then she goes, here, look. It shows me. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I knew you in fucking kindergarten. <laughs> and then after that, she like went left for like two, like a month on like a chalky slush. We're talking. <laughs> We're talking. We're talking, people. Oh, uh, fucking. She left for like a month. Because I guess she went to the Bahamas or some shit. The Bahamas. And then didn't say anything to me about going on a trip. So I was like, oh, this bitch just left school and broke up with me. And I was like, okay, bit, fuck you, bitch. I don't care. Don't say shit to me. I'm not going to care. Mm -hmm. And then I got with somebody else. We only dated for a week. I wasn't feeling it. She wasn't feeling it. We just broke it off. Oh, that's a one month for But sure. look, and then the next day after that, she came back from her trip. Oof. And then everybody told her, and I was like, oh, shit. So on the playground, she was chasing my ass. She was like, I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> and I was, she got me. I was like, hey, you didn't say shit to me. I was like, I thought you broke up with me. Hey, I don't want you. And then guess what? I ended up dating her again in middle school. Mm. Yeah. Slut. It was the same person. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> it was the same person! And then we got with her. And then I got with some other crazy bitch. And then another crazy bitch. And, and then another, another crazy, crazy bitch. bitch. And then wait, wait, another wait. crazy wait, bitch. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And another crazy, crazy bitch. bitch. Yeah, and then we got to my current girlfriend. The most amazing woman I've been with. So. 
Anyways, but that, yeah. First girlfriend, holy shit. <laughs> Fucking hilarious shit, thinking about back at it. Uh. uh big life experience. Big life experiences. Yes. Um. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Definitely. Don't do drugs, kids. It's, it was drugs. Was some drugs that I used to do that I don't do at I went all to the... anymore. Um, but that was those are some big experiences. I don't always like. I don't really like talking about that. But um, they try to. Say other thing like my dad being an alcoholic, slowly changing. I guess that was another big experience. But for me, moving out of Vegas is another. Good fucking um, mental experience. Getting with my girlfriend was a completely different experience because she had a kid, and I love I love her. Now you're and I love the kid. <laughs> I love her. I love them both. She's like my. She's like. She's my daughter. That's, I'm high. We smoked a joint. Bro. Like, bro, no, I'm laughing at the fact you got salty like six months into the relationship. It was Father's Day. I was, and I didn't get a Father's Day's gift. You know why? Because it was like six months into the goddamn relationship. I should have got a Father's Day gift. I don't and care. They, and six months into the relationship, I was still paying a lot of stuff. <laughs> Did you tell her you wanted to be five shot or? Yes. Oh, then that's. See, I should have got a Father's Day gift. And that's uh. Still too soon. I, what are you doing? I want. I want my rebuttal. This is a shout out to my girlfriend Jasmine because I know you listen to my podcast. <laughs> Get me a Father's Day gift. From the six months in. I need it now. <laughs> I love you. Don't do it. Don't give in. All right. Don't yeah. give in to the bullshit. Um, earliest memory. Earliest memory? I was yes. uh, running, so- from, running from my mom. Cause, okay, so back home in Hawaii, the house was a two-story, but the uh, bottom and top were separate. And there's a wooden staircase going to the second one. Remember, my mom chasing me around the house. We're going in a big circle. Then she tried to corner me, then around the opposite way and ran out the door. And you know that fucking vine where it's that kid running from his mama trying to... Because he didn't want that ass whooping. He fucking like, he ass. slid down the fucking... Yeah. Uh, that yeah. was me. Mine, like I said, was the whooping one. But before that, uh, some... I don't remember what this guy said, but he said something. I think he was like along the lines of saying no to me or some shit. And I proceeded to punch this dude in his balls. Mm. And I was like two. I just... So I don't have this memory. I don't remember it. But my parents tell me this a lot. When I was like two, I told my grandpa, fuck you. <laughs> I also, oh, no, I said asshole. There's also some the like memory that. that I got stung by a bee. And then like a year later, it had a pimple that was green. When I popped it, it was like green stuff coming out. I'm like, what the fuck? But yeah. So the bee got you right in the pimple under the skin. And no, I feel like it made the pimple. But I smacked this bitch and it went flying right into the pool. It was already dead, but like, you know, because bees die when they Oh, back up. to childhood memories. Just just to throw this out. I remember back in my uh, old house, my childhood home, we had a pool. Every summer, wasps would be coming and stuff. Me and all my friends be just shooting them down because we don't need wasps we need bees because mm. they die when they sting you yeah wasps we need are bees scary. wasps for, are like, scary honey, they, can, they no. can kill you and still be alive and come back at you much. bro bees for one honey because it's delicious too for just the natural fucking ecosystem and shit bro they fuck, pollinate fuck, everything fucking mosquitoes fuck them why, are they, why do why do they exist just to suck our blood bro bro mini vampires mm-hmm yep uh, weird shit you ate. Weird as shit you ate. I didn't eat this. Well, okay, I got I got a story, little story time. I didn't eat this. I got the homie to eat it. It's on my oh, it's on my YouTube, personal YouTube channel. If you want to watch it, guys. Up to y'all. Mm. I'm pretty sure y'all seen it. It was the homie. Let's call. Him, let's call him. Uh, fuck. Eating that 4K glizzy. <laughs> 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 No, 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 no. I got, <laughs> no, no, that's not it. But I got the fucking homie to eat cane sauce. Oh, wait. I'm what? Gonna, I got Gio 
because oh uh, he, he's already known in my videos. I can just say his name, just his first name at yeah. least. No one needs to know his last name because uh, y'all can't find us. Peanut man. <laughs> Peanut man. I got him to drink cane sauce for a vlog. And the weirdest shit I've eaten, bro. Back then, it was weird as shit, because in elementary school, everyone judged you on the lunches, because all the white kids had the Lunchables and shit, and they were like, oh yeah, fuck they that, dude. They were balling, bro. Bro, they I were brought, always I, balling. I would bring Spam and Rice. I brought a Musubi once, a Spam Musubi, and fucking kids sat away from me when I was sitting at the edge of the table, and everyone was like a foot or two away to the left. And I was like, bro, I'm munching out. I'm busting down. I don't give a fuck what y'all think. For me... I feel like the weirdest shit I ate. Oh, it'd be crickets for me. You ate crickets before? Yeah. When? Fried crickets. It's a delicacy in some Is countries. Is it good? Yeah. You liked it? It's good protein. I'm gonna have to buy you some crickets. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, cool. no, we'll do it for a video. You eat some crickets. Okay. But I won't, but like. <laughs> no, you gotta try one. No. Yeah. I will not. Have you guys it. had bear jerky before? No. no. Bro, that shit's so fucking good. I didn't know they made bear jerky. I got it from, uh... V. V. Ah, okay. I had to think about it for a second. Twin. Huh? Twin. Ah, okay. Yeah, from uh, his dad. And I had to take some home with me, because that shit was like... Bussin', bussin'. Like, no cap. Oh, I, have to try, I have to get some and try some then. Definitely. For, uh, I haven't ate that much weird shit, bro, I guess. Not you, Normie. <laughs> yeah, I haven't eaten no weird shit, really. Um, go to movie as a kid. What movie as a kid? Go-to movie. It would be the f all the Star Wars movies, Lord of the Rings, a lot of the animated movies uh, from, like, Disney. Every time I saw... It was, for me, definitely always Marvel. Nah, D uh, DC, I, I liked all the cartoons and shit from DC. I never actually went to those. Really? Yeah, I never Bro, went. Bro, uh, okay, here's, like, a core memory I have. For movies, I remember going to watch Star Wars The Clone Wars the movie in theaters with my parents. And I just seen fucking Anakin Skywalker jump off the fucking tower and like start destroying the big ass droids and shit. And it's just fucking him turning around and like, follow me. It was so fucking hyped. Was Star Wars hyped, movies bro. were always hyped, bro. I love Star Wars. If you guys haven't seen Star Wars The Clone Wars, watch it. Star Wars Rebels, just get just get past the first two seasons and it's pretty good from there. Season three and four is but pretty good. But it was always, all, it was a lot of action. Transformers. I remember watching Have you seen the original series? Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. G1 shit, bro. Bump when Bumblebee was a bitch. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I remember that shit. Um, emo face. <laughs> Middle school. That's when it started. Mine was after I started smoking, which could lead up to the next question, but when I started smoking in high school. Mm. But started <coughs> dressing in all black as shit. That sure. goes in hand to hand with the question of when we smoked weed the first time. Yeah. Um, I, the first, uh, I'll let you go first. Cause I got My it. first time? Yeah, go ahead. So I was about like 13, 14. Went up to Washington to go visit my aunt. How is Washington? I never Bro, it's so there. fucking nice. The weather is just. Uh, if it was if it was fucking affordable, I'd go up there and live there. Have right. you been to South Carolina before? No, I've been. I've there. never been to the east I went coast. There. Farthest I, east I've we been could talk is about like that. Arizona. We could talk about when I got up there later, but like, yeah. You just gonna least. cut me off like that, homie? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can continue. You can. You can continue, Fuck you. man. Fuck you, bub. <laughs> then, uh... So the first... Then we went to uh, her apartment down in Oregon, Port Angeles. Yeah. So glad she doesn't live there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you... We'll be able to find where. But I had, like, half a big-ass brownie edible. 
Then I hit the bong and fucking died and choked. And I gre- like, bro, I greened out that night. <coughs> then I finished the edible. And every time, I would be, I was laying down there just high as fuck, giggly as shit. And bro, I would like tap my stomach and feel the vibration go through. And I felt the vibration through like the walls and the TV and shit. God. And it was just, I was so you were, you were one with the I elements. was, I was green the fuck out. <laughs> bro, I, my first time was smoking with, was with John. And I was 16. I was a good kid, you know. I listened to different music, but when I started smoking, I started listening to rap music. So now I listen to rap music all the time. But I went to, we'll call her SK. I went to SK's house with John. And John's girlfriend was supposed to come and everything. And so, but before they got there, we went into the back. And he was like, Hit bro, it, one time. no, it was like the most coolest shit when I was 16 because I'd never seen anybody smoke weed or anything in front of me. And this, this dad dude was a cop. legit had this like one hitter box, you know, with the cigarette type shit. And when you move it, it has a spring shit that shoots it out. So he like opened it with like the, the his left hand and it popped out and he caught it with his two fingers in his right hand. <clears throat> and he put it in his mouth real quick and just... And I was like, yo, that was fucking dope as shit. And then, like, after he hit it, he was like, you want to hit? And I was like, yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> I was like, bet, yeah, 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 I want to hit. So he packed it a little bit with the last he had. I took a hit. I fucking died. No, because he, he told me, he looked at me, he's like, hold it in. Hold it in. Hold it? Yeah, and then I couldn't breathe no more, and he's like, okay, now you can let it out. I was... <coughs> sounded just like that. Yeah, it sounded just like that. I was so high, bro, and then we went, went inside, and then... <laughs> it was so fucking stupid, bro. And it was... um, He fucking found his girlfriend's fucking underwear, and then put it over his underwear what the and then fuck? <laughs> he got on the counter and started dancing <laughs> and then fucking nana came and then he walked outside the house wearing the underwear or underwear <laughs> oh lord <laughs> he's like hey babe i was like oh my god and then i go to sleep what we started watching no I was laying down on the couch, and there was, like, some fucking weird-ass shit on the TV. It was hand puppets and sock puppets singing Kesha with googly eyes and real-life mouths. Mm. Singing Kesha, bro. And then I'm sitting there, I'm like... And John's like, yo, you good? You good? And I'm like, yeah. No, that's exactly... I was like, yo, I'm Mm. good, but, like, what the fuck am I watching? What's on the fucking TV? And he goes, what the fuck is on the TV? SK, what the fuck you have this dude watching? You know he just smoked. You can't have this shit on. He got on her ass. And then we started watching. This is when Spider-Man Homecoming came out. They Like before it even came out on any streaming service. So they bootlegged it. And I, we're watching it. And let me tell you, the first time watching it was the longest movie ever. It felt like the Infinity War movie. Mm. Dude, I remember going to Infinity War and seeing that in theaters. That shit was... I was like, I kept looking at my phone. I was like, this shit over, bro? Yeah. What time is it? No, but like, Homecoming, I fell asleep like four times through it. I fell asleep watching it like 15 minutes in, fell asleep, woke up, saw everybody. I'm like, well, we're watching again. And I'm like, oh, we're still watching Spider-Man. I'm like, okay, bet. Watching it for a bit, went back to sleep, woke up, John and his girlfriend left, and then I went to sleep again when they, like, I couldn't see him no more. And then right when I, w- I woke up again, they came back. Spider Man Homecoming was still on after the third time I w- woke up, and I was like, this is still on. And I fell back asleep, woke up, and it was still on. 
And I'm like, what? Bro, this is the longest fucking movie I've ever seen. And it, and then I went home, fucking slumped my ass out. It was like the best sleep I've ever had. Had multiple mini naps. Yeah. Multiple mini naps, and then I fucking slumped my shit out. Mm. Pets you've had or have? Huh? Pets you've had or have? Two ferrets. A I dog, ca- and technically four cats now. You had a dog? What happened to it? <laughs> Bro, I had to make the extra cash back at home. Mm. I'm fucking with you. Actually, I don't know. I was too young. Mm. I just remember there being a dog in the house. Damn. Yeah. Damn. I had two bearded dragons before. One named Castro and one named Diamond. And then I had two dogs. A Rottweiler before. And then I had, I don't remember. Two more dogs? No. I had one dog. Uh, oh, yeah. No, I got two more dogs after that. Bro, what the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> but I have one Stop eating the equipment, bro. You gotta, you're going to abuse it. like an emotional it's support animal no and everything. She was fucking wonderful. And then I also had a wolf before from when it was a baby. We named it Nico. Nico ran away when our Rottweiler died, so he jumped over the wall. Oh, he was like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Because they were like best friends and everything. He loved her. And, and then she died and he was like, fuck this shit, I'm gone. And then um, we got two other dogs, Kato and Delilah. Delilah liked doing it for nuts, And guys. I got a whole bunch Fucking of cats. Counts. I got Bear, Gru, Jinx, and Ash. Jinx is my only girl cat. Two Tabbies, two Russian Blues, I think. Yep. Yeah. Those are my pets. Mm-hmm. Going on to adult life. It was. I got scared of taxes, dog. It was rough for me at first. I'm not gonna cap with you. Looking for a job at first, it was rough for me because I didn't want to. So I was always sitting at home and smoking, and I was doing dumb shit. Always asking my parents for money, sure. and I hated it. So like, I finally got a job, worked, and then. They fired me because I was watching TV while working, but everybody else watches TV while they work. So, but I was like the only white person, and everybody else there was Mexican. So I felt like mm-hmm. I was kind of. What do you say? I'm out with my people. <laughs> they always got on my ass about everything, and I was always in the back folding boxes, bro. Fuck you, all right, V. That's what we're gonna say. Fuck you, all right. Fuck you and your job. Uh, bitch <laughs> but after that i ended up going to tesla i loved it um I had to move back because of covid started working in some other places and then yeah it was <clears throat> it was kind of rough but like in the end you see i have my own place now and everything so like i can't complain i don't know where jared went but Patting your head. Is it? It just. Yeah, I got you, bro. And you get it done anyways. I got you. I'll pat your head for you. <laughs> Sorry, Bean Meme. <laughs> you don't go with that still. Uh, childhood favorite food. Childhood favorite food. Yes. Uh. I think it had to honestly be some fruit, like a banana. I always love to eat a banana. Jerry, get over here and talk about your adult life. My adult life, done. You left after I finished, so. Sorry, baby. My, my baby girl is getting her wisdom teeth done tomorrow, so. I know, she's kind of scared about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, taxes freaked me out because I did it myself, and I was like, damn, I'm not getting this much money. Then if I can redate them again, just because I was like, I'm not sure. And it's just. I'm still transitioning right now. Yeah, I'm so, still transitioning. I'm only 21. I'm turning 22 this but year. But since like, pretty much, learning. since pretty much like sophomore year, I've been pretty independent from my parents, except for like you know money wise. But I've been able to figure out ways, you know. Yeah. Make sure I was fed and shit. Always hanging out with people. Never home. 
Yeah. So you, everyone called me a nomad because I was never in the same spot like three days in a row. Bro, you were like after the third day, I was somewhere else. You were sleeping somewhere else. You were partying. You bro, were every, I, I lived. At you tra- were all around Vegas. Bro, I lived in trap houses. I know you did. Oh hell no! Just because I knew fucking people who lived there and they're like homies and shit and. So I always tried to do good good by people. Yeah. Yeah, you you were everywhere, bro. Um, favorite food as a kid. Yeah, childhood favorite food. Oh, did I, did I miss that one? No. Yeah. yeah, yeah, kind of. So, still a staple. It'd be ramen noodles, spam and rice with egg, corned beef with rice and egg, Yeah. Vienna sausage with the soy sauce sugar mix with rice and egg. <laughs> just rice chicken bro hot pockets were a big staple in my life now it's calzones yeah <laughs> and yeah no rice is the biggest staple I've had also like you know tuna sandwiches and shit tuna go hard tuna go hard salmon go hard too oh yeah definitely oh bro I got a 6 ounce 16 ounce sterling or sirloin at uh, Olive Garden today, instead of uh, the salmon. Yeah, how was that? Bro, it was good. Done in like ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, I know you scarfed that shit down. And it came back so fucking quick. Bro, the waitress was surprised. The waitress was surprised, dog. And I was just, I busted through that shit. And I went for the breadsticks, honestly. You guys must have been. That water was busting. Dude, it was the first thing I ate, bro. I had some salad to open my stomach up. And, you know, a little bread and the, the steak, bro. You were loving it. But I was, mu- dude, gave her 20%. Damn, okay, generous. Huh? No, she, it was, service was good, it was fast, everything fucking... Yeah. A1. Me. It wasn't busy, too, so... A1 shit. Mmm... Worst memory. Worst memory? Yes. When I had, when I was, for a month, I was taking a certain drug, and then at the end of that month, I ended up throwing up a whole bunch of blood and, like, bile for, like, a good hour. I'm surprised I'm alive. I didn't go to a hospital. But I'm still here. I lost my glasses for, like, a year and they were still there same spot same spot and everything so i cleaned them i still got them uh worst no that was my worst memory i fucking hated myself for doing that to myself so like after that i was like no i'm not taking no more other drugs i'm just gonna probably just smoke some weed now it's legal so i'm blanking so hard right now that's how pushed back and blocked those memories are Your Zan stuff, I felt like was probably your worst shit. No, I've had worse. Damn, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I remember this man would jump some dude named Nick. Fuck Nick. Mm. You're not gonna hit. You're the not gonna steal who is like homie's my sec- mom trying to fight some girl. What? Hold on, no, 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 pause, pause. You just said steal the homie's mom. No, pause. Well, Wait. he's not my homie. Well, at the time, at the time, no, no, no. I'm talking about. I'm, I'm saying this at the time. I mean, part of it's still true, you know. But I just have to word it away for it. I'm wording it the way for at the time. Yeah. It's because I, I speak in different tenses a lot. But no, it, it, he, no, he this, hit, dude. he hit the homie's mom. Tried to rob them. You know, he did rob them. He took his a whole bunch of his clothes, bro. And PlayStation. He sold all of his games. That too. Mm-hmm. And he owed a bunch of... He owed all of us money, dog. Yeah, all of us money. He stole all his shit, a whole bunch from us. So, like, five, six people jumped this dude. He was gonna hit him Okay, you're over-exaggerating this shit. Shh. You're over, way over-exaggerating hey, people love this, this shit. shit. People eat this up. I'm playing, but, like, it was, like... Three people, dog. You... No, it was more than three. It was only three people. No, it was, who like actually, four or five. No, it's only three. Well, okay. It was four or five people, bro. It was three people doing. Bro, I'll pull most... up the video for you. Let me finish. You know what? I'm if putting the, the video up, up but... <laughs> in this corner right here, and you're gonna watch this. <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Got that? Fucker. 
There's three people at first. Then after, me and one of the ho me and Joaquin got tired. The two of the girls fucking jumped in. Yeah, it was. It was hilarious. Joaquin that day, he caught four dubs. He four jumped dubs. a dude before he went to bed. Getting of the day, he was fighting this dude. He was fighting T. And then he was like, bro, I've been waiting for this for a long time. And Good it looks, though. And <laughs> claps this dude in the face and he drops KO. It was fucking hilarious. Boom. And then he goes, fights his other homie. Fucking lays fists on this man. And then the third one, he was like, bro, take off your ring. And he didn't want to take off the ring. So Mans was like, okay, bet. Punched this dude once and was like, nah, bro, I'm done. That man was a bitch. I'm gonna mm. call him D. <laughs> He's nuts. And then he jumped Nick at the end of the night and then he went to bed. He caught four dubs, bro. It was fucking hilarious, Loki. And I have all the videos. I have all the videos. I might have to put, uh, put, them, put them on Twitter. You can watch them on Twitter. Start, start of your YouTube experience. Uh, middle school, I was a Minecraft YouTuber. Um, Made Minecraft videos. For me, it wasn't in middle school. It was high school. I was doing COD. I was doing like a whole bunch of COD videos. Because I was pretty good at it. So I was doing like Black Ops 2 COD clips. How are you at it now? I don't do it now, but I don't play it. Really. Same. Same here. Then high school, I started my vlogs and shit, bro. I have a cereal. I have a... <laughs> I have a video of just me eating a whole box of Plastic Flakes cereal. I fucking remember mm. that, and I don't even know why you recorded that, but I'm probably going to do Because it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm probably going to record something And everyone like that. watched it. Bro, that shit got like, a lot of views. And yeah, everyone watched it all the way through, too. They told me that. That's. And I checked the fucking analytics and shit, too, and I was like, why the... <laughs> why the fuck do people watch this? And I was like, this is fucking great. <clears throat> why the fuck? But, um, and then... Uh, I've tried to do another YouTube, Twitch, and stuff. Failed, so now I restarted. Started a new personal channel. Have a new Twitch. And then... Uh, I started... Do, we, me and him decided, fuck it, we wanted to make a podcast together. So... I hesitated yeah, at the idea at first. Yeah, he did. He wanted to just do vlogs, but, you know... This is actually pretty fun. I'm not going to cap. It's pretty fun. I like researching stuff and then talking with people. <laughs> talking with you is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Me? Yes, you. Me who? Sensei you. Soy. Not I. Sensei Soy da, sa, Duck Sauce. Huh? Sensei Duck Sauce. Okay. Duck Sauce. Who? You. Me? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, first time getting in big trouble. Caught, getting caught smoking weed. Got on my ass and then I left and smoked some weed. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaking out. Uh, the cops. I was good at my shit, dog. Punching my dad, going to juvie. I was good at my shit. I, I stayed low key till high school. You parents so, don't care if you. Support. No, before yeah. that, they they started getting pissed with me and shit. You know, blah yeah. blah. Fucking, but the worst thing, it's not even that bad, except for like you know, because the the Zan shit, they were more like, "Are you okay? You're fucking stupid." But are you okay? Mm -hmm. But it was the second time I got caught vaping at school. Cause I had to go, cause I had to go to shit, classes yeah. and shit, dog. Same. I think I got caught with weed, and then I had to go to classes and shit. And I still smoke weed. <laughs> Jeez, bro. God damn. Damn, man. Uh. But it was funny though, huh? First major injury. I've never broken a bone. Same here. Never broken a bone. Uh, when I was making like a spear, I low key almost cut the tip of my finger. Off. Oh, when you I remember pretty that. much when you were yeah, throwing and up I blood. Yeah, I was bleeding a lot. When you were throwing up blood that internal, too. that 
I did. I should have went to the ER. I remember yeah. that too. <laughs> I should have went to the ER. Uh, just this, so this went. actually, this is a pretty funny story. So I was pretty much almost home, and I was like trying to get these guys to give me a ride because I knew them from like school and shit. Fucking hopped onto the back of the truck. It was a there was a bed covering, and I fucking I fell off, scraped the fuck out of my knee. My hands were all fucked up. I was limping and shit. <laughs> I had uh, the homegirl at the time fucking put like a wrap around my knee to help and shit. And right after that, about like two hours after that shit happened, I okay, actually I got new. I got fucking hydrogen peroxide on all my shit. I was like, ah, fuck, fuck. I have a video of it. Doing that max funny. pain stuff. Yeah, bro. Then two hours later, I went to uh, a bonfire party in the tunnels. Jumped right into the fire. Oh, hell no. From, like, the top shit. Yo, he used to love doing that. He has a video. It's, like, his, like... It's the first intro. one, too. It's the... It's his exact, intro. It's the exact one I'm talking about, actually. Yeah. Then I would I would just do that for fun for the next couple bonfires, because I was like, it's my niche, my neck, my, my thing. Jumping in the fire, fuck it. Fuck it, dog. If I catch on fire... I'm a burning man now, dude. Uh, I ha- I can't grow a uh, leg hair on my parts of my ankles, bro. You like can't right grow above, hair, really. No, no, no. Like, you know, it's like burned off. You've been trying to grow a beard and you still haven't got one. Yeah, I've just been lazy. There's got a, a there's hair a product. Like see from here. There's a product I can. I get. have some if you want to try it. Yeah, no, fucking. Can't come over here or fucking right here. I can't. There's like it's like. So smooth and like fucking all gone, but on the other side there's. If you can't see this, please just go to the YouTube when this is posted, Mm -hmm. um, and you can see what we're talking about. Yeah, like no hair will grow in those spots at all because they're completely singed and burned off. Damn. Yeah. It's because you. I was wearing shorts. Yeah. Um, Long socks. You always wore shorts, bro. Even when it's cold. Favorite teacher. Favorite teacher? I had a few. I had one, and it was fucking weird. I went up there to ask him a question, and I forgot the question, so I just decided to be like, no, nah, I just wanted to come give you a hug. <laughs> and it was a guy, and I gave him a hug, and I, was, I sat down, and they're like, why did you do that? And I was like, I forgot my question. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but my favorite teacher had to be, I think her name was, like, Miss Peterson. My favorite. She was fucking amazing. I loved her. She was so great. Um... I had I kept going back to see her after I left, and I'm like, "Hi, how's it going?" Because oh, you wanted that coochie, huh? No, she was just a dope ass teacher. <laughs> she was really fucking cool. Miss B. Miss B. I, I don't know who that <coughs> is, honestly. I never seen her. Ass was fat, dog. That's all I gotta say. Oh, my favorite teacher. Sorry, was- Jade. <laughs> Babe, if you seen that ass, she would have said, God damn. Mm. Um, next question. I didn't even answer my question. Oh, answer your question. <laughs> oh, yeah, what's the question? What was your favorite teacher? What's your favorite teacher? Uh, that's the photography teacher, because I was in there for three years, and he let me slack off and shit. And I would get so fucking high before school in his class, because it was like the first period of my day. Bro, uh, I remember and I got that freedom I would shit. sleep. All the time in chem, uh, bro. Yeah, fuck the publications in, teacher. In chemistry, I was always go to sleep, but when it came to the final exam, bro, I got a C and a B. I fucking aced that shit. And I never did any work in that class, mm. dude. I would just try in like three of the fucking uh, quarters, fail one of the quarters, and fucking ever and just bomb the fucking finals. Cause I I, I knew I, I fucking. I big brain that shit because I was lazy as fuck. Yeah. Uh, weird hobbies you used to have. I felt like Legos. That's not a weird fucking hobby. Fuck you. That's, not weird. <laughs> That's why your mama bought you Mega Blocks. Bionicles. Okay, those are those dope. Are, as fuck. Those are those dope. Those are dope. I don't see them no more. The weirdest shit. These nuts. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> <laughs> um, you go first. Eating pizza with chopsticks. That was like one of the weirdest things I've did. I don't. Remember, <laughs> I don't remember any of my like. Oh wait, that is a really wait. weird hobby. <laughs> Eating pizza with chopsticks? Yeah. I had never did that tried in middle that. School, dog. What the fuck? Because I was like, you know what? I don't want to get my hands dirty. 
Did you experience strawberry milk as a kid? No, I didn't. That's why you ate pizza with chopsticks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's no, why bro, you I was ma- bro, every like all the kids were white, basically. Yikes. So, I was like, the, I was the minority. Yikes. I'm still the minority. Nobody knew I was the minority until they saw your mama. I was incognito. He was that when I bro, first met him. I was like, I didn't, I didn't know he's bro. Half black I'm, I'm just was picturing mom. the uh, parent teacher conferences. Bro, those were always so fucking awkward. They're like, what the fuck. Bro, you'd be sitting in there and they're talking about you, like, and you're sitting right there, but, like, you're not supposed to say anything. It's for your parents. trouble. And I'm like, it's not always in, like, trouble. They're just there to talk to you. It's just weird. And it's like, bro, I don't want to be here if you're talking about me. <laughs> I, I, like, keep that shit between you and my parents. I was like, I don't want to hear it. I was like, I don't, don't make me sit right here and listen to it. Yeah, Dunno. but no, I'm having p- pizza with chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> pizza with chopsticks. <laughs> I can't get my mind off that. If you guys want, if you guys want to see that, uh, go check out my TikTok. I'll do that in like when this is done. Mm. No. <laughs> no. No. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yes. What it should have done? Um, yes. Yes. Bro, I'm I'm not that interesting. I feel like that. <laughs> you normie. Um, what it should have done has to be playing. Bro, no, I'll just go with the cringiest shit I've done. Playing with them paper ninja stars. I made so many of them and then brought them in a I bag. I remember that shit. I brought them in a bag with like a one of the fucking oh I used pillow, to LARP. pillowcases and I had a whole bag full of paper ninja stars and then I played with my friend and I lost all of them and I was tossing them bitches like fucking crazy we were beaming each other everything like a little kiwi started bleeding we were, <laughs> we were going fucking nuts but. And we were like in the middle of the street. It, it, I guess uh-huh. that's the weirdest shit I've done. That's cringy as shit, I guess. Dude, I used to LARP in middle school. That's Live action role play. Oh my god. But I didn't go out in full costume. I would just have like a fucking nurse sword and shit, bro. You and it would just. I used to do that. It was fun. Cap, I used to LARP. Yeah, don't judge me, you bastard. <laughs> you hypocrite. I'm sorry. Hypocrite. Hip, hip, hip. I can't speak. I stutter a lot. Uh. First song slash artist you got into? All American Rejects, middle school. Um, for me, I felt like it was nothing more. I heard no, Pierce the Veil. Mm. When I heard Pierce them, nuts. I didn't hear them the first time. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good back crack. I didn't hear them. Like they're not the first artist I heard. I don't remember the first artist I heard. Dude, it was anyone on the radio. But, Pretty much. Yeah. It. But Pierce the Veil was my shit. Sleeping with Sirens is still my shit. Um, you have a whole poster, dog. Now I have... Banner. Um, yes, that is very Exposed. Mm. Rappers. Juice World. Wi-Fi's hey, cool. Funeral. Little Peep. Little RP Uzi. Juice World. Um, some new artists are pretty fucking dope. Uh, uh, one of the new artists is Wes Patrick. Uh, they got the old, old school fucking, you know, basically like the Tupac. Yo, yeah, definitely. X, Lil Peep, you know. A lot. I used to fuck with Lil Xan a lot in high school. But that was because I was. Cause I was Lil Xan went crazy, bro. Then he just dropped he off. A, he pulled a Glock. He put a. He pulled. He pulled out a. He pulled, he pulled out a fucking gun. Snoop uh, Dogg. He tried. You say he tried um, to sell carts and shit. I don't know. It's fucking <laughs> bro, he looked like a guy from the uh, Netflix uh, drug ink. Bro, did you think the Noah and Lil Xan thing was fake? What? Noah, no, Cyrus, who? oh, and Lil Xan getting together like dating. Do you think it was fake? Like set up. I feel like they actually did. I felt like it was set up at first, and then I got because the daddy each other. issues. I felt like they got the into daddy each issues other are real in that family. On, uh-huh. But I felt like my bad. At you first, good. they. Um, they got together because they like 
success Poppy. money yeah oh lund can't forget about lund lund's pretty nice that was my sad boy shit mm. all right uh what else you got for us bud i got two more two more questions two more questions yes more. sir all right all right when you when you two met or how the friendship grew <laughs> oh you know, let me, I got this, I got this. When me and this fucker first met, we we, we met because of the homie John. Yeah. Side note, h- how I met him was through my cousin, and they fucked in the hot tub right in front of us. That- with the bubbles on. Wait, Exposed. what? Exposed. Wait, what? You heard me. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, then after, like, during, like, when I first got to high school, he's a grade above me. I met this fool. Just because we looked at each other, and we are like... Listen. What'd you say? Say that was the last question. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, you already fucking. You already we we looked at each other and we were like, nah, fuck yeah. this dude. Then we actually like got introduced. Then I think it was your girlfriend at the time. He was like, Isla. yeah, I was like, hey, you guys look like twins. <laughs> fuck that hoe. Fuck her, you bitch. Yeah. yeah, and then we, cause I had glasses and like shorter hair at the time. Then we, had the we same started. Size then we started color. hanging out, and we would like be at school, hang out and shit. Then hella people would come up to us, be like, "Are you guys brothers or twins and shit and everything?" And I'm like, "Nah, bro, I'm black and white. This man's Asian." <laughs> who the hell did you? Who the hell fucked in the hot tub, John and who? John and his cousin. We'll tell you after. Okay. John is his cousin though, but like it was fucking right in front of us. I didn't. I was in the hot tub. We were in the hot tub. We got out and got in the pool. That pool was fucking cold. I was pissed. <laughs> and then after they got out, I was like, bro, I don't even want to get back in the hot tub. I don't even want to. <laughs> I was, I was I like, it's not either. even worth it. I'm going to give it like a day. Sterilize it. Nah, not even a day, bro. I gave, <laughs> it, like, I gave it like a week. Yeah, probably a good idea. Dude, no, I, I remember getting into the shower so quick after that. I was like, nah, fuck this. Fuck yeah, this. I was like, I need to wash myself. <laughs> I feel dirty. Ugh, <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. Um, I felt dirty. And I didn't yeah, do we anything. met. I felt like, uh, I guess before we even met, people were already thinking we were like brothers and shit. And we that's like a lot. I don't know how we met because when we met, he was like, "Yo, you guys look alike." He was like, "Brother, we took picture. We don't have them no more. No, yeah. But we have a mm. picture of us, and when you see it, we look the same. Mm. We look the fucking same, same drip and everything. It was fucking hilarious. But and then, like I said, we just ended up." Being really fucking close. This nigga's dope. I had to walk his ass home from a party once. You already said that. Oh, no. no. That was a different party. Yeah. No. Oh, the first time I said I had to walk this motherfucker home from my house during Thanksgiving when I had family over. I think the day the other day when we party was like at T's house. No, it was at K's house. Hmm? K's house? T's house. No. On my birthday when I It wasn't your birthday. It was a last minute party. Oh uh, yo Gotta walk your ass home, bro. I remember that. I remember <clears throat> that. Yeah. I was gonna go back. She she had a boyfriend and I just found out that day and I was like, Oh you son of a bitch. Bro, this <laughs> man stole a dude's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he stole a dude's girl right in front of him. It was fucking hilarious and dirty at the same time. I was slick as fuck, boy. Bro, he was sitting there, and then she sat next to you, and this man literally just, just he was him, just, man. he was laying down, and he went. And then she cuddled up with him, I and the dude him. noticed. He didn't say shit. He didn't do shit. Then after. And then he was crying and everything. The Right there, and he never said anything. And then after she left with him, and then like the next day they broke up, and then they got together. And I'm like, damn, this this dude just really did that shit, bro. On some G but shit. Yeah, though. you got any other questions? Nope. That was a whore. Yeah, it's okay. Hmm. That reminds me People myself back in the Now I'm only a whore for my girlfriend. She's the only one who can grab my ass. 
don't like people. I don't like that. It's, I'm so conscious. I feel like. Mm. But it's because you're built like a bitch. Number fifteen. Burger, Burger King, King foot, foot lettuce. lettuce. Oh my god. All right. Thank you guys for watching. This has been What's the Drip episode three, and this is gonna go up. What what day is it? Two weeks from now. Yeah, two weeks from now. Y'all remember Wait, Shark Boy and Lava Girl? Two weeks from yes, now. I remember that shit. No, I remember it's not movie. two weeks from now, bro. What about it? Hold up. No, we're gonna drop this shit the fucking June second. All right, June second. So Good a week look. from now or two weeks from now? That's a week from now. That's a week from now. So, oh, we just. Oh. That's a week from now. Oh fuck it, guys. We're just doing this shit weekly now, guys. Yeah, fuck it. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. To, fuck it. But what about Shark Boy and Lava Girl? You're saying about that. Bro, Shark Boy and Lava Girl is fire. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Dream, 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 dream. <laughs> Forgot. The child's asleep. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's cool. Mm-hmm. She's, She's probably, probably up still awake. <laughs> She's probably, she probably up anyways. She's probably watching TV or something. But, yep, this has been episode three of Watch the Drip. Uh, this has been the Watch the Drip interview of broken hellboy and, and sensei, sensei soy i'm your and boy don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell don't forget to comment yeah don't forget to comment Add this to your favorite playlist also if you can't if watch you're this wa- now, if you're if you're on spotify listening to this go Save that answer later. the q go put some shit in the q a um fucking or comments you and could, questions you can listen to this podcast on Spotify, Anchor, Apple Music, Google Productions, Google, Google Podcast, Google Podcast, and Amazon Music, and you could also watch our video on Spotify and YouTube. Our YouTube will start having new content out weekly. Yep. So stay tuned if you want to watch the videos to see what we're what we're talking about. In the we podcast, stream it live so can, every we stream, time. We stream it live every week or you could wait till it's uploaded on youtube or spotify yeah spotify would probably be first but Mm. follow us on our channel like and comment like and comment always turn that that notification bell on we already said that too make sure you got the blue thumb up and the subscribe button's already hit it's not red (laughs) and cameron's a bum okay we already said that but follow us on instagram Follow us on, on Twitter, Twitter and on Twitch, on YouTube, on all TikTok. That shit. You know what? Well, you know what? On is. our personal pages. But and go follow Kid Melio. Thank Meliodas. you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next fucking video.